say. I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. A lot of people forget the points when it comes down to cult leaders, dangerous cult leaders or not. Those who kill, whether they're killing themselves or killing others or both, or even those who don't. In this case, I've got an image of Marshall Applewhite, who was the leader of Heaven's Gate. Although initially there was another leader too, but she passed. I think she had cancer. In any case, he became the supreme leader. And you know what? People love to forget how cults operate in the strictest sense. They focus on, oh, there's a charismatic leader. Oh, they, they might kill themselves. You're right. Those are dangerous traits. Dangerous cult traits. Do you know what? With a great many cults, it isn't the death which defines it as a cult. It isn't the single leader. It's the ideology and how it operates, how it dominates a person's life. So you might be in a cult. Hang on, I'm not in a cult. I've never hurt anyone. Yeah, because you're in a not-so-harmful organisation, a potentially harmful organisation. Many organisations out there, supposedly mainstream, according to many people anyway, they're mainstream enough, they're sufficiently safe. Ooh, don't call them cults, no. Well, they still break up families. They still ruin lives. They still have strict ideology. Some of them do have rule from a charismatic leader. Look at some televangelists, come on, get real. Look at some of these fanatical terrorist organizations around the world. They're cults. They're extraordinarily fundamentalist sects. Look at the New Age movement. By the way, the uh, Heaven's Gate cult was heavily New Age into a lot of these esoteric practices. But the New Age movement is full of little cults, little cultural sects, you might call it. At the most watered down position, of the definition of what is a cult. It's merely culture. But when we talk about organisations which have a strict control over you ideologically speaking, you know, you should believe this. Why? Because it's true. How do we know it's true? I had a revelation. Or I spoke to an archangel. I channeled an alien. You know, whatever the case may be. It's not just the supernatural either. As I say, cult is a very broad term. Potentially dangerous cult is more refined. Dangerous cult is very well defined because of organisations like Heaven's Gate as well as a variety of others which I could ramble about literally for hours. I have done in videos before. did a very long video about Charles Manson uh, a few years ago. did a long video um, on several other channels. Some of my content is still out there on different channels, different places. The key point is the restriction, the control. And then if you have a person say no, brothers, sisters, you have the wrong belief. You can radicalise them. But in any case, it's not just religion or religion-styled things. You can have self-help, which goes in that direction. A lot of New Age practices, broadly called New Age, because New Age simply means alternative, broadly speaking. Or, strictly speaking, it means kind of a New Age of spirituality and awareness and techniques and ideas. It's a blanket term. So the spiritual movement and the self-help movement, they overlap to some, de uh, to some degree. But you have some self-help gurus who are effectively cult leaders. You have campaigns, activist campaigns that lead nowhere. They're massive scams, but they're also a cult. If anyone remembers Coney 2012, it's like, oh, there's a documentary. This Coney guy, this rebel in Africa. Yeah, dangerous, isn't he? Let's embellish it. Let's get people to give money to buy these special awareness packs and put stickers and badges and posters around the place. Then get involved in videos. Make a lot of money for the guy organising the thing, which he then put into the organisation even more to get this thing going. And it became a farce. You could argue that's a scam. You could argue it's a scam with a cult around it. Or you could argue with religion. A great many religions, they might seem benign, at their centre, they're effectively a cult. That's pretty much all there is to it, really. You know, in terms of how they operate, how the mentality is, you could argue that the various orders within the Roman Catholic Church are basically cults within a cult. 
their loyalist organisations or sects within the Roman Catholic Church and they obey loyally and fanatically the chair, the Pope. So in that regard they are basically orders within the same cult, the inner organisation which is only a very small number of people within the Roman Catholic organisation. When it comes down to communism, for sure, you end up with cults of personality. That's another example of what cult can refer to. I mean, Kennedy was a cult of personality. Obama was a cult of personality. You could argue uh, Trump is a cult of personality, as is Boris Johnson, as are many other people alive and dead. Stalin was a cult of personality, but not the most charismatic man. He knew, to, he knew how to intimidate others to make himself stay at that level. Hitler could organise people, could manipulate people. A political and racist, I mean racism is political anyway, but a massive cult of personality and cult of ideology, you know, political cult, racial, this nationalistic hardline, Mythology about the purity of the Aryans, etc. Yeah, it's it's a cult. Not to be confused with occult. Many people do that. I know people who just simply don't understand the difference. Occult means hidden or hidden knowledge. So you have an occult organization. Or an occult cult, <laughs> perhaps. You have secret things or secretive ideas and traditions and practices. But that's not the same as saying something is a cult organization. There's a difference there that a lot of people forget. But in any case, when you talk about an organization that's based around an ideology and limits itself and does not have the freedom, the ability to discuss different ideas and more importantly, I'd say evidence, there is a problem with it being a cult. And I think all too often people let off their own belief as being not a cult simply because they say, yeah, but it's true, or yeah, because I like it. When really that's no way of approaching a subject whatsoever. It's not a rational approach. A genius thinks he's so smart.